Hello and welcome to the introduction to Tinkercad video. In this, we show you how to edit an old design, create a new design, and how to basically navigate and work around this platform so that when you get into our design videos, you already know what you're doing. The first thing you need to do is open a browser window and type in www.tinkercad.com. Then log into your account. From your account dashboard, you can either go in and edit old design simply by clicking Tinker This or create a new design. To change the name of your design, simply click up here where it has given you a, an auto-generated one and rename it to whatever you'd like. Then along the top bar here, we have a series of commands including undo, redo, group, ungroup, and more, and these allow you to work with your shapes and do different things with them. Then we have the view cube, which allows you to quickly switch between different views so that you can see the world from different standpoints. You can also navigate your work plane using your mouse. You can use your right mouse button to rotate around. Simply click and drag to rotate around the scene. Or you can use your center mouse button to pan to different views within your work plane. Clicking the home view will return it to where it started. On the right hand side, we have a variety of basic shapes, and these are geometric primitives and other shapes provided by Tinkercad that you can use to create your own objects. There are the basic shapes, and then from the shape selector drop down here, you can actually go in and look at different things, including featured shape generators and more that allow you to create even more complicated objects. When you found a shape you like, you can simply click on it and drag to bring it onto the work plane. That's this surface here that you are building all of your objects on. You can change where it is by clicking and dragging on the work plane button on the top right here and adjusting it to any face of the object that you would like. With your objects, you'll have the option here in the shape panel to change them from holes to solids and more, change the color, and even go in and adjust certain attributes of the shape, including perhaps the dimensions or the resolution of the object. You can also change the dimensions using the ruler. Now this allows you to very precisely adjust and move your objects as well as scale them. So using either the shape panel here, typing in a dimension in millimeters, I can adjust the scale or now with the ruler out, I can use these buttons right here and adjust the scale this way. You can also adjust the location of the object using the ruler. So if I wanted this to be at my corner here, I can simply change these to zero so that the object moves to that corner. In addition to using the shape box and the ruler to scale an object, you can also use the squares that are surrounding a selected object and either scale things in one dimension or in multiples. Likewise, you can use the arrow buttons to move it vertically or simply click and drag to move the object around the scene. To rotate an object, use the arrows with the curve between them to simply rotate your object to whichever angle you would like it to be at. So there you are. That's the basic navigation of using objects and working in Tinkercad. So now, when you go into your design lessons, you already have an idea of how to work with Tinkercad and design exactly what you want. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful day.